Okay, change things up a little bit. Um, I think this is going to work better for me. It'll resolve one of the issues I was worried about having. And um, somebody commented on one of my videos about how they had made their truck crane so that it would slide to the middle um, to allow for to allow it to leave the crane on and then the weight would be more over the hitch so there would be this big fulcrum effect while you're driving and it's bouncing down the road so i like that idea so i kind of re-engineered it um i cut off the old uh where i had this piece welded on right here and um and then just welded this sleeve on top and this is just a a receiver that is two inches inner diameter right there and because this is two inch outer diameter of course and um it already had holes pre-drilled in it so i just welded it on here welded it around got some undercut there um that one looks pretty good and then welded the back side here and then just welded this gusset on the back because sorry about the sun this is going to be trying to tilt out this way i wasn't worried about this part being pushed down into this any harder i was worried about this side lifting up like this so that's why i put this gusset on the back i started putting on the front here you can see i still need to paint it but i left it okay Okay, so I started to weld a stop right here so that when I pull it out, it would just stop. But I really want to take it, I want to be able to take it apart. I still want to use that as a hitch extender and it's even lighter with that piece and that piece. Yeah, it's more pieces, but it's going to be easier to put together. Um, I think, anyway. So... So with the crane on, uh, hopefully it'll ride okay like that. Now, the only drawback is if I'm loading eight foot logs into the bed of the truck and I have the tailgate down, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to take it down and just throw it in the back of the truck. But, you know, for loading something here at the house and taking it somewhere and unloading it somewhere, um, that'll be nice. Cause then I can just slide the crane over. Uh, it hits the dead stop, just slide the pin in. Uh, put a little R pin on the back side and uh, tie down the boom and then drive away. I think that's going to work well. So, if you watch my other videos on this crane, you know I replaced this pulley and it seems to be, it seemed to turn fine while we were, um, sorry, it seemed to turn fine while we were cranking it up and down, so the pulley was rolling. It was pretty easy to crank, so I'm happy with that change. Okay, so that'll just keep everything kind of a little bit tighter, I guess. And we put this cross pin in right here, and then put the R pin in, but the R pin goes right here, of course. 
and that'll keep it from walking side to side also. So, okay. And I just keep a couple quick links. Okay, so looking at this crane, I used to store this little pin up here um, just with that little key ring to hold the R pin. And um, so I just made this little aluminum swedge out of some old wire, some old aluminum stuff. And um, that'll keep it captured. If it does fall out, it won't go get lost at least. So that might be nice. Then if I swing it around and want to mount it, Okay, so that worked well. Still using our pin there. And um, now we can use the crane. Put the jack on, use the crane. We're done. Um, lock the crane there, put the, take the jack off. Put the R pin back in. I guess I could use a locking pin as well. And I probably would lock it if I'm driving around. I also drilled a hole through this part so I can put a locking pin through here. So that's a lot of locking pins and a lot of keys, isn't it? But I think that would be better than, you know, um, it getting stolen. I guess I could lock this one too. You know, it's, I don't know. If somebody's real bent on getting it, they're just gonna bring a, saws all with a metal blade and just cut that pin off in you know 30 seconds 20 seconds and walk away with that they'd have to cut a lot of pins to get all this off though but i guess if somebody really wants something they can just they'll get it right so good i think i'm pretty happy with that i'm so happy with this uh idea um that youtube commenter gave me i can't you know his he didn't have a really have a username it was just like a line so I don't know how to give him credit, but if you're listening, buddy, thanks for the great idea. I, I'm pretty dang happy with that. The other thing that makes me happy about this is I can reverse this. So not only can I make it slide out this way, I can put this in this way and make it slide out that way with the crane on this side. I'm not sure why I'd want it on one side or the other. Maybe something will arise that I would need that. But right now, um, I can't think of anything, but I can put it on either side, though. So, great idea.